Hey, you guys, welcome back to another review of Married at First Sight. No, there is no skit. We just trying to make it to decision day. They act like this is the race between the tortoise and the hare. Or the tortoise and the rabbit. I don't you, know. Right at first. It's just going slow. Like, come on, y'all. I'm going to sleep. Please. Can you zap us out? Now, let's go and get into this review. Stay woke. We keep it real. Oh, first. Hey, what's up, Koya Cam folks? How y'all doing tonight? Welcome back to another video of Courtney and Eddie. I'm Eddie, aka E Doug. This is my lovely wife. Courtney, also known as Coco. This right here is Courtney and Eddie. This channel is all about relationships, it's all about reviews, it's all about entertainment, it's all about our rants. And tonight, we're going to be talking about Married at First Sight. Man. Talking about a snooze fest. Rough, man. Rough. I'm still grogging. You still grogging from the show? Mm hmm. Because I was going I don't to know why. Has, has this show lost its way? Uh, what's going on? Is it like, it's still. Uh, it's like it's something that's missing here, man. Mm hmm. Go ahead. <laughs> I was going to say something wrong. <laughs> Anyway, so if you're brand new to this channel, you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. And, um, yo, if you see the tees that we got on today, then you can purchase it. You should see the um, link around this video. Now, let's just go ahead and get into it because I had started just get cross eyed talking in that little small segment. Mm. Y'all getting sleepy. Yeah, sleep. So, uh, first, I want to say, Kirsten, can you stop looking at us? We can see you looking at the camera, girl. Like you've been doing that the whole season. It's like one of them little children that they tell you, don't look at the camera. You just can't. It's some always move a camera crew. Some she just got to always look off. She the only one that I have ever seen on any of these that she always looking at us. Hmm. Can you please pay attention? The folks tell you, but can, what they call it? Um, Like ignore the cameras. Like I forget what it's called. The third wall. Uh, whatever. The, the, the fourth wall. Why fourth? First, second. Is it third? I thought it was fourth wall. I think it's fourth. What? Yeah, that's when they talk to the people in the audience. That's fourth wall. Well, what's the third one? I don't you, know. Looking at the camera. Well, how you come up? One, two, three. How you count? I, uh, yeah, just like he was counting. <laughs> so he had, you want to tell people what you had? No, I ain't going to tell them my okay. business, man. Okay. But it's all about me. Get back to the show. So anyway, he had this procedure done. Why you got, no, we're going to talk about this show. And Don't he, drag this video out. He, listen, we got to have some entertainment. So he had had this procedure done on Monday, Tuesday. Well, no, I put the video on the Patreon. Why he done woke up, up at the folks had to wake him up. He was still up on the anesthesia and stuff like that. And he started, he started counting the people in the room. I guess so. I, when I was under, I was thinking about Sesame Street. So no, I you think up. about Married at First Sight. Uh, like the people said in Patreon. Wait, how, 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 how was that? Three people in the room. He said. I just, I said, said three people in the room? Yes. He said, there's three people in the room. One, two, three. Three people in the room. There's three people in the room. And he looked at me and said, oh, What you doing here? Oh, you videotaping me? Don't put me on the TikTok. No, I said, No. I didn't say put me on the TikTok. I said, you gonna be, Are you going to be TikToking me? Yeah, I said, You're going to TikTok. You did say, Is you going to put me on TikTok? You're uh, going to TikTok this. You're going to TikTok that. Yeah. TikTok it. Yeah. You're going to TikTok it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Trademark. Yeah. That's why I said TikTok. So, but he kept saying the three people in the room, and then he said, "Now it's two people in the room." That's when I walked out. One, two. But uh, you don't remember any of that, right? Yeah, some of us. But why Street. you said that? Married at first sight on his mind. No, anyway. Three people in the room. Anyway, so let's go ahead. And get let's into get back to Kirsten, Kirsten, Kirsten. Let's get back to her. The reason why she was looking at the camera every once in a while. 
Well, I'm through with that. Okay, well, I'm gonna go back. Y'all seen them like uh, movies on TV? I know you lying. Oh, no. You just told us to get back to cursing. So, oh, yeah. Yeah. but you I, want us to tell with what, your stuff? Oh, well, we ain't finna talk about that. Y'all remember? Y'all watching movies on TV? Mm-mm. Y'all know TV is. Mm-mm. You know TV is. Anyway, it's like low budget, you know, movies and stuff, and that's what she reminds me of. Kind of like this show. I'm a video. I'm talking about that YouTube channel. <laughs> I know. Why you gonna dog us out? <laughs> no budget. Yeah. Okay. Oh, <laughs> but anyway, so um, seven days before decision day, so um, Chris and Nicole and Kirsten and Shaq, so they going to do like this um dress up kind of um what is it? Western. Yeah, Western um scene like and an stuff old like Western that. Western movie. Yeah. Yeah. So while the while the ladies were finding their outfits and the guys were finding theirs, of course they was having small talk in between that. And it seems like with Chris and Nicole, they just have an issue. You remember? You remember? Y'all remember earlier in the season when he was talking about, you know, hey, we are gonna stay separate because you know you go to your place, I go to mine. Why well, all of a sudden on this episode she brings that back up? Because they get closer to the season day, you know. Mm-hmm. And so but she agreed to it though, and she said, um. You know that they have been looking for a place and stuff like that, but not nothing. They have found nothing because you know they got three dogs. Shy, nobody going to do all that with you know three dogs. And so um, she says it's hard for them to find a place. So she really don't want to live separately because she want to be with her husband. So you know that's what they kind of talked about. And Kirsten said, you know, they still don't know they gonna stay married, child, because their communication is off. So on the next scene, they had, oh, well, the next thing that they was doing, they were doing the photo. When they were doing the photo shoot, they was, um, I like the photographer. I like the way that she kind of had everybody posing. And when Shaq threw that. Stick of dynamite. Yeah, it just, it just, it was so cute. I really, I, I took a picture of it. So, yeah, I really liked it. So, yeah. Kirsten and Shaq are just a cute couple. Now, Chris and Nicole as well, they are. But I really like the way Shaq and, you know, Kirsten, they really take some cute photos. Yeah, that's all they can do. You know, their personality is just not clicking right now. But they can take some that's good pictures. That's all they can yeah. do. So in the next scene, they got, um, oh, and I was going to I'm going to say this too. Like, I'm just going from the scenes because they had a whole bunch of fluff in between. What do you mean by fluff? They mean, they mean, I mean. <laughs> it's been a long day. For him, but yeah. I'm getting sleep after this. Have, have y'all ever had a Monday on a Wednesday? I have. Today was like my Monday. It was rough. A little bit. Yeah. My husband came straight in from work, took a bath, and then started watching the show. So, yeah, you ain't had a break in between. Um, And what, you had a 12-hour work day? 13, actually. 13. Not 12. So don't try to get that little extra hour. So anyway, um, put yeah, payroll. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, so it was a whole bunch of fluff. So meaning that they just needed something to have a conversation about. We know that they someone ain't got no connection. Y'all ain't finna tell me that y'all. Oh, I see a walk in seven days. No, you don't stop lying. Um, you can't tell. Oh man, it can work. No, stop all of that. So it's just a whole bunch of fluff. I mean, y'all can cut out whatever y'all got coming up as far as those scenes. Cut out that stuff, honey, because we still had not seen with Dom supposed to be kissing Clint. So what is it? Is that going to be, where are they now? Y'all so, sure y'all seen that? Oh, I haven't seen, seen it. I haven't seen oh, it. yeah, I saw it. Did y'all see it? We all saw it. Yeah, you Most sure it was, it, was a, it was a Photoshop I, or no, doctor? I, I doctor. go. I'll go back to the Instagram where I shared it. Yeah, it probably was Photoshop. No, she you know, they walked this, over there and kissed each other. You know, you got all this AI generated stuff going on out there now. You yeah. sure it wasn't that? Well, that that would be married at first sight then, because yeah. So where is that at? So y'all done put us to sleep during this whole season. So um, anyway, the next thing they are doing um lumberjack feud. Now that looks nice. This looks like something I would want to do. You wouldn't want to do that? Oh man, I ain't what? talking about getting on that big old um. I guarantee you they're gonna have you sign a waiver, and I'm gonna I'm gonna have flashback. Yeah, you gonna so, panic. Yeah, so no, I'm not gonna. <laughs> <laughs> so I like okay. So they was doing the, the cutting of the trees. They were doing the log running. What trees they was cutting? The log. It was a tree or a log. Which one was it? Ain't a tree a log? Ain't a no, log a tree? Not really. Yeah, it is. Right. Yeah, it is. Ain't a tree a log? Ain't a log a tree? <laughs> <laughs> what the heck that's supposed to be <laughs> so 
they was running over the little logs and stuff like that on the water. Like, yeah, you know, and like I say, it looks fun. It looks fun. But yeah, most likely they're gonna have you sign a waiver. So. Yeah, them people in the back was trying to figure out, honey, which I was filming, honey, because you seen them people. Yeah, they was just sitting there like, what is that? What is they doing? Is this a love at the lockup? <laughs> <laughs> so that's what he was trying yeah. to figure out. You love using it. Yeah, because it's so ratchet. <laughs> <laughs> but this is not ratchet. Well, right. it's, it's really not. Maybe it should be. Listen, it's really not ratchet. It's really uh, what they call what's a sleep aid? Some kind of sleep aid. Something that's gonna make you sleep. So yes, yeah, because Man, really, uh, melatosa. Melatosa. Melatonin. 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 What oh, I said, melatosa. Yes, I like foot disease. Anyway, <laughs> I gave a disease at night. So they doing the um the climbing of the trees. So you got um who's first? Chris and um Nicole. They were first. Chris gave up. He gave man. up. Ooh, he out of shape. Well, we know why he out of shape. He out of <laughs> why? shape, huh? Why he? Why we know he out of shape? We saw him in the jacuzzi. Oh, Chris don't care, honey. He gonna give y'all all of this. Y'all get all of this. So yeah, he don't care yeah. nothing about that round there. Yeah. So um, so yeah, he gave up. But Nicole, she was pressing. Right. Them, so, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm I'm really impressed with Nicole. She she got it up there, man. I said, okay, Nicole. She took all that aggression out. You know, she went up there. Oh, ooh, I see. What aggression. Uh, what aggression. <laughs> I was going to say something. Yeah, I don't want to hear okay. y'all mouth. I don't want to hear y'all mouth. <laughs> Leave her alone. That's not funny. So, um, let's see. And who was next? So, Kirsten, honey, she did pretty good. Yeah, and then she Shaq. Shaq, Shaq. I think Shaq made it to the top. Um, it seemed like Clint still got a hangover. So, he like, mm-mm, try to look to that. Yeah, is, yeah, uh -uh. By looking up there, he was, looking, he was getting dizzy. I thought he was uh, afraid of heights. That's what I thought, too. But he said, I'm still recouping from, uh, from the other night. Yeah. So like, okay, he's, he's still in the hangover. From last night, the, excuse me, the previous night. So it seemed like Clint, honey, he was get, getting it in. Clint, Clint said, you know what? We on vacation. I'm going to drink like it. He sure enough did. So, um... But yeah, so Jasmine and Gina ended up going together since Clint was out, and Jasmine killed it. She killed it. Yeah, him. she said, "Ooh, I make." So you had the when you get up to the top, you had the blue line. The above the blue line, you had the white line. All they supposed to do is get to the blue line. So Jasmine, she was feeling herself. She made the blue line. I'm gonna go ahead and shoot for the white line. The white line didn't want you. The white line's a new sister girl. You gotta be on back now. <laughs> <laughs> you know, um, one thing it seemed like Jasmine, you know, she she was in the pageant. Oh, so she, she probably a cheerleader has, yeah. and all that. She's athletic. Yeah, well, I wasn't talking about that. She probably competitive. So yeah, she probably did that. You know, what I'm saying to get on up there. And then, um, oh, pause for a minute. Why are y'all trying to cut me in front of all these people? Hmm. It's just us. Yeah, well, it's gonna be everybody gonna see it. But I, but it's just us right I'm now. I'm just saying though. the reason why she did that because she's athletic. What I'm supposed to say? Yeah, you, you right, you babe. right, babe. You You're right, right. Babe. I had today's yes. my Monday. Okay. Yes, sir. you right. Okay, you right, that's sir. more like it. That's yes. more like it. Yes. Okay. Anyway, um, so yeah, like I said, she um competitive. Um, another thing too that word on the street is that you know that jazz and teeth now are you know uh, you know she why got a teeth. Why are you gonna thing. bring up her teeth? Well, I'm just letting people this, know. Okay. I'm letting people know because people, I now I noticed it, but I ain't never seen nothing about her teeth. You know what I'm saying? But now that she got them fixed or whatever, yeah, she got them done. That to woman her. be she great. Really, really pretty. Okay, she already looked cute anyway. Yeah, she did. So, um, so they talking about Eris, um, not being there, and they wish that he was there and stuff. And some some of y'all said Eris, he didn't go on a business trip. They said he was out there creeping. Who said that? Some people in the comments. Last week. Oh, last week. Yeah, oh, okay. He ain't, you gonna drive in the middle of the night, go to his own business trip. No, he he went saw one of his, one of his women. That's I what didn't think saying. it was a business trip. I thought he went home because he had to like be on a Zoom or he had he to be on something. Zoom right there. No, 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 no. What it was, he had to go home because he had a maybe he had to go into the office. Or yeah, something like that. it's supposed to be like something like a well, I guess a business trip. I don't know, but he's supposed to go in the office. But yeah. anywho. 
They said he didn't have to do that. They some people to come. Leave in. that man alone. I'm not saying this. They, they leave saying him, that. Leave him alone. He I think he. Leave I think that. he actually went to work. But some new women in the comments don't think he go. He went to work. They think he actually went to see somebody else. Well, we don't know. But on, on Married at First Sight fan page on Instagram, they had showed a picture of some woman, hun. They they you know put a little emoji over her face, but it wasn't jazz, and she was slim too, but. He was hugged up, was not hugged up, but you now you take a picture, and then the girl is taking a picture with the rest of the man the first day cast. So I'm like, who is you, Chad? And you was not Jasmine. So yeah, that could have been who he went to saw. Anyway, who he went to saw? <laughs> I knew what you were saying. <laughs> man, I'm tired, y'all. Who he went to see, y'all? I know, I know. Yeah. I had to correct that, man. Well, you have to. Yeah, I, I had to. Talk like that anyway. Yeah, they go to this one. They ain't gonna catch it. But I love him in a way. <laughs> um, 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 so anyway, so as they was all, you know, breaking off, doing different conversations and stuff like that, Gina was talking about Clint being like drunk. And so she was just saying, you know, she had to take care of him. You know, he was so drunk that he couldn't even get in the bed, find the bed. He couldn't do this or whatever. Yeah. When you get that drunk. Yeah, oh man, that's on a, yeah, that's on a different level, man. When people, somebody got to put you in the bed, yeah, actually had to take your clothes off and dress you to get you in the bed. That's a level of drunk you don't want to be. Trust me, because the next morning you're gonna be feeling that. So now it makes sense why he had the hangover the, the next morning. I've never been drunk. Ever. Never been drunk. Mm -mm. Yeah, I've been drunk. Tipsy, then, but not drunk. I've been drunk. I said, ah. Why my car parked like that? <laughs> there you go. Really? You, you fall down crazy. And you drunk drove? You drove drunk? I drunk drove. No, man. No. Yeah. I don't know. I, yeah. I was in Mexico. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, Gina was just saying that, you know, as far as them being attracted to each other, you know, um, she said, you know, she feels that Clint is attracted to her as a friend, not not a marriage. Oh, like yeah. Gina said, see, Gina, you put Clint in that space. You know what I'm saying? If you just got over the situation at the honeymoon <laughs> and you just try to make amends, he wouldn't be trying to treat you as a friend, in my opinion. No, I think Clint wants more than a friendship with her, but it seemed like he kind of picks up from her, her vibe. That's all she wants. On the after party, he was like, you know, ooh. On the after party, Clint had said, he had said that, you know, Gina be kind of sometimes, he really and truly, sometimes she is, sometimes she not. So he really and truly don't know how to take her. And then he also had said that, you know, she want to be, like, really nice and friendly and, like, having all this, like, compassion and stuff when the camera's on. He said, when an off child, Gina do not be friendly like that. Well, see, you understand, Gina has a, a business she's trying to run. So she trying, she got to kind of portray that image like she's real nice because she don't want to hurt her pockets, man. If you're a nasty business, if you're a nasty person, you don't want business, people going, they can, they can kind of tank your business. You know what I'm saying? So you got to put on that, put on that front, I guess. Mm-hmm. But yeah, that's why I say they did, baby. Just call it. Just go. On, yeah, call they just, the quits, child. Just end this season. I early. want to do that. Got a pill. Fine, they leave early. Please like, don't get that started again in the comment section. Uh, the reason I'm saying because why even endure all that, man? You just finish the show out and get your money. Man, bump that, man. He's like, you know, my pride and my ego and my dignity is too much. Be like getting drugged for a whole season. I've been low. Well, for some people, just to get about ten more thousand Instagram followers is worth it. Mm -hmm. So, um, Shaq and Kirsten are talking, and you know they talking outside, and they just talking about you know the communication issue. It seems as though that Kirsten feel like, child, we cannot move forward because we do not communicate well. And Shaq was like, "What are you talking about? We communicate all the time. Like we just come home and get in the shower and go to bed. We had these talks. In fact, sometimes Kirsten want to talk to two or three o'clock in the morning. The man got to get up and go to work. And she said on the after party, she said she, the reason she want to do communication or talk because she want to make sure that Shaq is in love with her. That you know what I'm saying he want her, and she just don't feel that. Well, my, in my opinion, Kirsten needs to kind of don't see what, don't wait to see what." 
uh, Shaq has to say. It's, you know, look at his actions. You know, your actions are going to speak louder than words. You know what I'm saying? Man can tell you anything. That, yeah, baby, I love you, but tr treat you like dog crap, man. All right. It's all about your actions, man. So, to me, I understand what she wants to hear, but she needs to sit back and watch watch his actions first, you know, in my opinion, you know, but, hey, that's just me. Um, In the next scene, Gina is telling Clint that one of her um employees just texted her and said, I quit. I can't do this no more with you. And um and so she was a little hurt by that, you know. She that said they didn't even called a girl name, child. Lord, I hope she can get another job. Shoot. So I anyway, know. I hope she won on the camera this season. Yeah, she turned the application into another job. Uh were you <laughs> did you text somebody on, on a show and say you quit? Yeah. Oh, we can't have you. Yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. You You're not gonna do, do us like that. Are, right. You ain't gonna do us yeah. like that. So they done called the her the girl name on TV and said, you know, and Billy, I mean Clint. I don't know where Billy come from. Oh yeah, where Billy come from? I don't know. It just seemed right. He, in the he sure don't look like a Billy. He, he really do. No, like don't. Billy. Billy. No. Yeah. Billy's kind of special. So anyway, um, I had a classmate named Billy. He passed away. So when you say he kind of special, and Billy was special. Well, there you go. No, he wasn't special like that, but he was. You know what I'm saying? So anyway. Uh, sorry to hear that. So anyway, Clint Make me feel bad. You should, <laughs> and you should. <laughs> so Make me feel small. Okay. So Clint had, um, and so Clint was trying to encourage her and everything, and and she was like, "Don't you remember? You know, so and so I can't remember the girl's name." And Clint was like, "Yeah, I remember her." He was like, "Yeah, she texted me and told me she quit." And the reason was is that. Um, Gina said she had to kind of chastise her, you know, kind of get on her for something. And, you know, <clears throat> the girl, you know, felt like, well, I don't need this. I can go be my own boss. He's, and she was saying, you know, sometimes these younger employees, and they have been to quit on you in a hot minute. Yes, they will try yes. to just look at the Burger Kings, the McDonald's, and all yeah, the rest of them. Especially with this, with this job market today. And people going to quit on your heartbeat, man. They, I don't need a job. I can go home. And get on YouTube and make <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. It's go kinda, what yeah, TikTok? Yeah, they go TikToking on you, man. So yeah, man. So it's kind of hard to keep the young people, you know, on these jobs nowadays. Especially, you know, like you said, Gina got on onto this girl. She and the girl probably got feelings hurt. She said, "No, I don't need this job. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna do a uh, only fans page or something, man. You know what I'm saying? So it's easy to make money nowadays. It is. That's why these fuck why. Have you ever quit a job? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I quit. I regret I quit. it. Me too. I regret it. I regret your story here by mine. So, um, yeah, I said, Ugh. you know, it's like, and you quit because you did them, but you know, you you're so emotional and instead of listening to your head, you listen to your emotions. Then you, you quit in the, in in the wrong way. But go ahead. I quit McDonald's. That was my first job. I was there. Nobody, months. you, no, nah, people quit McDonald's. But I'm, I wasn't a quitter. Like, I ain't going to quit without putting in two weeks. No, but I got mad at that new management they had hired. No, I got mad at my manager, too. I walked in, and he was at a table at a meeting. He said something to me. I said, man, forget you, man. I don't need this job. Got my bags, throw on the table. Bam, I'm out. Deuces. Then a week later, I come find a job. <laughs> Hey, I'm sorry. <laughs> I was going through some emotional uh, distress, and I didn't know what I was saying. I said, oh, Eddie, we can't hire you back. I said, you sure? You're finding your heart. <laughs> <laughs> did you say that? <laughs> no, I didn't say all that, but I did. It took, let me see. I quit. And I, I think I went looking for a job for like three weeks. I couldn't find a job. God. It's hard to find a job when you ain't got one. Yeah, it's so, easy to find a job when you got one. I said, oh, I gotta go back, crawl back to the people. I said, I'm gonna test the water. I'm gonna act like I'm asking, you no, know, I'm call it that. Act like I'm asking for somebody. So I have friends still work out there. I said, hey, such and such and such and such still working because they knew me. Hey, how you doing? I said, okay. They, they, hmm. they ain't snap on me, they ain't hang up the phone. It, maybe it's a chance. Hey, uh, y'all still hiring? Y'all still got my position open? Uh, yeah, we do. Uh, you think I can come in? No, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no, my brother, you gotta get your own. Yeah, yeah, that was, yeah. Yeah, I said I never, I never get that emotional and quit. 
before I started thinking. Cause you got to think about it first, man. Yeah, you do. I mean, you get caught in your feelings so much, and you want, especially you want to prove a point. I know, like, right? <clears throat> you want to go out with a bang. I don't need a job. Uh, or you flip the table over, walk out, and when you can't find a job, you're on the corner with a sign. I will work. For- <laughs> <laughs> So Jay was telling, okay, clear about that part. So the next one, um, Chris and Nicole, they doing the put put golf. I'm like doing a mini golf. That's what I need to do. I want to go do mini oh, golf. Oh, mini golf. Yeah, put put golf. They ain't no that's longer that's, busy. Yeah, that's a, that's a, a like, company. Yeah, okay. yeah, I'm a company. Yeah, you know, I went put put in one time when put put golf was burnt. Yeah, put put. Then uh, went down south to Florida and played some mini golf. I enjoyed it, man. He was old Tiger Woods, wasn't yeah, you? Yeah, have my gloves on. No, you did. No, I did have my glasses on, have my hat back. I was taking it serious, too. Who you was on a date with? Why are you still on a date? You just sound like fishy, like one. <laughs> I got to be on a date. I leaned down, try to get my angles right. I hit it right there. I sucked at it, but it was all good. So, um, so they doing mini golf. I thought you were gonna tell about Nicole attitude and stuff. You want to tell about your little funny story? Yeah, Nicole reminds me. The one thing me and Nicole has in, have in common, we got this in common. When we losing, we lose. We lose interest in the game. So when I lose, I'm losing. I don't want to play no more. I show it up. I, yeah, I'm like her. I have flipped uh, a monopoly t- uh, game board over. Uh, when I was playing shoots and ladder when I was a kid, I threw, okay. <laughs> threw that against the wall. Oh, it yeah. ain't about you. Hmm? It ain't about you. I'm just saying, but I understand why she said Yeah, but it still wasn't about you. So she was saying that, you know, in that moment, she was getting kind of angry and stuff like that. So Chris was like, just chill. You know what I'm saying? It's a mm-hmm. game. Just We just here to have fun. Let's just have fun. But no, she couldn't, honey. She I guess when people, I guess when people don't. I guess when people don't know how to play the game, they get frustrated. I think that's what she was going dealing with. Yeah. Um. So let's see. Ares is back. He back. He back. He back from his date. Mm, mm, mm. That's what they saying. I ain't say that. You just said that your mouth. Yeah, but that's what he was saying. They said he did not go uh, folks don't to work. Know. They don't know. They said he went to see some other female. That's what they, they said in the know. comment. Y'all don't know. Y'all be just. I don't like think he did. Know. I think he went to work. I, I really think. He went, I, I really think he went to work. I think it was too much. It would have been too much of a risk for him to do that. You know what I'm saying? Do what? Like leaving, and you don't know them cameras. They was probably one in the car. It's just too much of a risk. He didn't want to stop that little thousand dollars. They probably get an episode. I'm thinking. I don't know what y'all getting on episode chat, but I just know on some of them other shows they get about thousand dollars an episode. So you then know. again, he was driving that uh, Nissan Altima. Y'all so, wrong for that. So yeah, he could have been with another woman's house. <laughs> <laughs> you know how Nissan Altima get down, man. They just menace the society, man. They are. I'll be when I see he them coming. He said it, and some of y'all probably got them in the coming. Yeah, I'll see them. When I see them coming, and my rear mirror, I get scared, man. My heart skip. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyway, so they doing a big connect for. I thought it was cute, that big old connect for. So, she was telling him, you know, about last night and what he missed. And she also was just saying, you know, it was so sweet for you to say the words that you said. You know, it really touched me and stuff. And um, he was like, he missed Duchess, the dog, and he also missed the hair on the floor. That's the thing. Even though he keeps saying he's not feeling Jasmine, but once you've been around a person a long period of time, you know, you probably do get accustomed to that person being yeah, there. You know what I'm saying? Missed him. So, yeah, he missed that, her presence around him. So, yeah. I, I understand. I get it. And um, he's, and she was like, hair on the floor. He was like, yeah. Yeah. Um, and she's talking about my hair. Oh, you miss me? He was like, yeah. He he didn't want to say, yeah, girl, I miss you. I miss you a lot. But he was just like, yeah, you know, I miss you know the the family, like the unit, like all of us. Yes. So anyway. So um, but yeah, she kind of blushed at that. I'm like, girl, y'all got seven days, honey. Put them cheeks back in your head, honey, because ain't none ain't nothing finna happen. Nothing. No, no, they still got a whole week, so things can change. They really can. I'm pulling for Aries and, uh, and Jasmine. I am. Aries. I said Aries and Jasmine. It sounded like you was an like Aries, like you breaking it down. Yeah, Aries, yeah. Let me, like I said, Aries. New Orleans. I thought it was Aries. Aries? I thought you said Aries. 
Okay, Aries. Okay. I don't know if it's Aries or Aries or her. Why y'all trying to correct me, man? You be messing the words up too. I do. Sure enough. Happy June too. So, um, so they all come back together and they talking about, you know, what they learned and stuff. Oh, uh, it got real sleep on this part. Yeah, you did. Cause you pooed it. I said, <laughs> Yeah, it woke me up. Yeah, yeah. You son of a biscuit. <laughs> First of all, I didn't put it wake me yeah, up. Yeah, call call me put it. I love that. Oh, that no. I turn around. You like, huh? Who? What? I thought you put it. Yeah. I shouldn't have had that milkshake. I'm trying to watch some TV. I am poop in the background. Okay, since you gonna put mine out there, so he had a colonoscopy. <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> oh, are you telling my business, man? And he had a lot of poop going on too. <laughs> oh, that ass! <laughs> <laughs> Why are you telling me my business? And then I said, "Come on, baby, put your pants on. I gotta put my pants on." And he got his head right here on my chest and put my pants on. And then he said, "Crack." <laughs> so yes, <laughs> one good deserves another good. So anyway, well, at least I had a reason for mine. But you don't no need a reason. You ain't had a reason for yours. You don't need a reason. Uh, you a pad. Oh, I got that. And he just ran out the room. And then you. Has gas in the hall. I try to be respectful, not to do it in front of you, so I run out in the hall. Okay. Yeah, we married, Chad. No matter. I don't hey, want to hear your poots. You don't want to hear them? Mm. Oh, you don't want to smell them? No, most definitely <laughs> don't want to smell them. No. So, anyway, so they all talking about, you know, what they learned and stuff. And uh, Shaq had got the preacher, honey, because they was all getting back. It seemed like um, Kirsten and Shaq, they was giving they luggage together because um they had to go back and be at home the next day. But the other couples had to stay, you know, stayed another night. Well, Shaq and uh, Kirsten, they had to leave early, like you said. And he was so happy because Kirsten decided to leave early with him to go to, I guess Shaq had to go to work or something. Yeah, that's what she gonna get back. I guess she could ride with somebody else. Yeah, she could have get real. Uh, she could gotten me some ultimate. I'm in the ultimate. I got the season. Here I am in the backseat of me some ultimate. Feel like feel like I'm about to commit a crime. So. <laughs> hey, I'm sorry, y'all. Hey, finish what you were saying. Oh yeah, you know, So yeah, he was so happy because. You know, she finally going to go with him to his job. I guess he had some kind of meeting he had to go to. And he felt like by her going or uh, leaving early with him, she, that shows that she's, you know, showing support to him. But my thing is that is she doing this on her own or she's scared that his mom might say something about, <laughs> you got to support my son. Yeah. So she got a little you traumatic. Got support, yeah. <laughs> support. He needs your support. So you be, right. Yeah, I forgot about the mom. So that's that's probably the reason why she did it. Yeah, she probably on that watch. <laughs> she probably everywhere. You support my big kids, yeah. man. Yes, man. She so, wanted yeah. the mom. She didn't want his Shaq mom's mouth. Yeah, but um, Shaq. Yeah, he was happy, you know. But he did say on a part of it. He said he just want to make sure she doing it because she want to, not because she feel obligated to do mm, it. She do feel obligated. Yeah. You little do you know, Shaq. Your mom had a good talking to her. So yeah. Yeah. Oh, we all saw that. So um, Jasmine is passing out. Co- oh, I was talking about when he was. They said he was preaching. What he said. Uh, Shaq said. There's a lesson. Well, there's a lesson. There's a blessing. They said, "Go ahead, Pastor." Mm-hmm. Clint, Ben, Clint. He got old. Do, do too much. He, <laughs> that shit with he gets up. Some of the Holy Spirit and all that. Raising his hands up. I said, Clint, bruh. This seemed like a good time. Yeah, yeah. Especially you drink a lot. Yeah. Um, Jasmine's passing out these cards. I'm sure production told her to do them. You think so? Mm-hmm. No, I thought she did it on her own. He's trying to be funny. So, um, it ain't too much these folks gonna do on their own. That's why when Shaq comes up, me and Kirsten are just passing by, we seen this, uh, what is it called? <laughs> yeah. The, the lumberjack. Oh, oh, so, then again, they was in Gatlinburg. But so. still, what he telling me, we just passing by. Man, you know you lying. Production had already had that set up. I thought this would be a good thing for us to go. Mm-mm. Come on, Shaq. Unless production told you to go out there and find something for y'all to do. Oh, probably going to. Ooh, look at that lumberjack. I jack. know, right? Ooh, let's do the lumberjack. <laughs> Come on, man. You went to an HBCU, too? What HBCU member? Ooh. Member? Yeah. Member. 
member. It's a gang. I thought it was a graduate, a college well, graduate. Well, a member of the, of, the, of, the, of the school, of the schools, yeah. But anywho, who's going to say, ooh, homie, y'all dog, I drove by this love jagger spot, man. Let's go hang out there. Hey, we ain't going to see that, He man. already said that they don't, he don't know what it is. He ain't never did that before. He said, you remember him saying yeah, that? Yeah, but it says lumberjack. You don't know what a lumberjack is, but it consists of? Come on. Shaq. Oh, I'm just getting sleepy. So, um, I was creeping out. You looking at me? <laughs> so, got around that doll from the movie Megan. You know, that movie. Mm -mm, I didn't watch it. So, um, Jasmine's passing out the cards and stuff, and so I didn't write down all the little questions. You know, it's always for them to have a conversation. But to me, I think what's most frustrating is they keep saying the same thing over and over, or it seems rehearsed. Or it just seems so uh stripped scripted. Scripted, yeah. Scripted or yeah. so um not not genuine, you know what I'm saying? So um so re rehearsed, like you said. Yeah, you, know, you don't sound like you said, it's like, okay, we need y'all to do something to fill this time right. up. Yeah. So anyway, um so while um Kirsten and Shaq, when they left, the other couples decided to get in the hot tub. I said, okay, then. I'm then getting in the hot tub. So, Kirsten and them missed that. You know, Clint got to be, like you said, got to be Clint, honey. He drinking once again, got that champagne. and sh I, I think Clint has been to a lot of strip clubs. I really think so, man. The way he, he was doing it way too good right there. You know, way too good. Way too well. What? Shaking the bottle up, popping it. That's what you do at the strip club? Yeah, something, yeah. I thought you could just do that anyway. That's just strictly for the I'm strip club? I'm just saying. You know what I'm saying? You little challenge. You know <laughs> I do. I do. <laughs> yeah, most of the times I've seen it, it's been in a strip club or at a strip party or something like that. And they shake the bottle up and they skeet the wine on the uh, champagne all over your face. And you know that's what it represents something. Well, anyway, so in that moment, you know, they all got in their bathing suits and um Guess who got shot in the face? Nicole. Ah, flashback. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, um so they was all got in their bathing suits and stuff like that, you know, and um yeah. So yeah. the first thing Clint gonna say, you know, where no, the first thing you've told me. You, what you told me when, when he was in the hot tub? I don't know what I said. About Chris. Oh, yeah. I said, <laughs> I said Chris got some girth of sun. He's all out there. You better show him what you're working with. <clears throat> Clint said, that's okay. I'm not Clint. Chris said, that's okay, huh? Y'all going to love this body. He didn't even pull his little shorts up to try to push that belly in and then like that. He said, this is what you get. So, hey. Nicole, love it, honey. Hey. And it's for the world to see. So, um, yeah, he, he, hey, I know I couldn't do it man. at all. You couldn't. So, um, the, um, crack on me. Who? I'm too nauseous. Oh yeah. And yeah. I ain't having that. I don't want to. Crack so on. Clint is, um, in the, um, of course he in the hot tub or whatever. So he come up with this, you know, question like, "What is the wildest place you done had sex?" I was like, Clint, y'all in the hot tub? Yeah, I think that's a production. Told him that. Oh yeah, I think so too. But it was just like. It was awkward, anyway. Yeah, Jasper said, "I ain't gonna." Basically, Jasper said, "I ain't telling y'all, Jack." Mm -mm, she's a ch church girl. Jack. Had my dad in on me. Yep. Called me up in the middle of the night. What you talking about? You did it. Where? <laughs> I'm sorry, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> so you know, so after that, you know, of course they did express what they did. Um, and the couples just individually talk. This is when things start getting really dark for me. Dark. My eyelid. Oh. And so, yeah. Um, but I knew that you was going to handle it. So, you know, Chris and Nicole were talking. Gina and Clint was talking. You want to take over? No, they weren't really talking about nothing. You know, when uh, he asked a question about the, the sex thing, and Jasmine said basically she's not going to tell people what she did it at. I think Aries, or Aries, what's his name? That's fine. Aries, yeah. Aries said, boo, boring, boo. He did. Yeah. Uh, you know, he, he, still, he got that in the back of his head. You know, he wants to know. Uh, he wants uh, Jazz to be 
freaky basically you know and when she don't bite on that stuff you know he he, he gets a little disappointed and uh clint said what he did it at and and he did it somewhere at, on the beach on the lifeguard chair or something like that and i think nicole asked him i really got sleep on that yeah. but i don't remember none of that nicole asked was it a person or was it a dog oh, yeah i remember that and he said i don't know it could be either one but all i know it, it was wet <laughs> dang clint <laughs> <laughs> Dang, and they all laugh. <clears throat> so after that, I was talking about the part where the couples were individually talking, but it it wasn't much. I think Nicole still trying to tell me some moving in. What we're oh, you're talking about they were packing. Yeah, yeah. She was like, she wants to get an answer from uh Chris of uh, uh, when they're going to talk about the living arrangement arrangements after the decision day. Like I said, it was a waste of time. And bottom line is Chris said, Yeah, we're gonna talk about it before decision day. That that was the plan. She said, You sure? And he said, Yes, I'm sure. That's the plan. So for some reason she wants to be absolutely sure of when they just gonna talk about it. Not when they're gonna get the place or they just when they're gonna talk about it. Right. Cause she don't want she wanna stay with her husband, honey. She so she wanna find another place. But after they talked about that. She didn't help herself with this one right here because she said, you know what? We're going to go downstairs and act silly. Oh, oh, yeah, upstairs and act silly. He said, what you talking about? So she pulls out these little costumes, and dinosaur costumes. I'm glad you remember because I showed Yeah, and, uh, and he said, why are you doing this? And she said, we just want to be silly. We're going to go in the kitchen with the rest of the people and act silly. And Chris, he was very re reluctant to do this, man, because he said he feel like an idiot, man, which I understand <clears throat> grown people. Dressing in like in the uh, dinosaur uniforms or costumes, the the crash of breakfast uh, party. You say you understand that? I said I don't. Understand oh, me? That. Yeah, it didn't, it didn't make, make sense. sense. Yeah. yeah, it didn't make sense. So why? I said this is not the time and place for that. And Chris kind of felt that too. <laughs> but him, Ben, Chris, he oh, caved just in. Please his wife. Yeah, caved into his wife. But if it was me. I said, like, oh, no, I ain't going to do this, man. I'm ready to go. I'm already packed. Let's eat. Let's get on this road. Ain't got time for all that little nonsense, man. Shoot, you can, if you want to be a dinosaur, you go ahead and be a dinosaur. <laughs> dinosaur. A dinosaur. <laughs> yeah, go ahead and be a dinosaur, and man. No, I mean, and when they was like, she was like, bra, bra, we coming. And they was like, oh, okay. Yeah, the, it, the joke didn't even hit hard, man. It yeah, didn't land right. she trying to feed it. I said, you know what? She need her child. Yeah. Feed the dinosaur. I'm feeding. He go, hi. And Chris, uh, oh my God. And, and Clint, like, Chris, can you help me over here? Yeah, now? Chris, didn't, I mean, Clint, he didn't find it funny. Yeah. Nobody in there found it funny. And she was trying to make people laugh, trying, like I said, feed the dinosaur. <laughs> the dinosaur didn't want to get fed. And I was like, she needs a child, for sure. So, yeah, because um, Chris going to get tired of it, you know. Um, so anyway, they blessed the food because they needed somebody and then nobody want to bless them. They don't want to pray in front of the cameras or maybe they don't got no prayer life or don't pray no, to nobody. Somebody did pray though. I know. But you, you let me finish. She made her dad proud. Dad proud sitting watching TV. That's my girl. That's right. Pray. So yeah, Jasmine prayed. I said the preacher's daughter, she sure enough can pray. So she prayed over the food and blessed the hands that fix it, honey. That's them black prayers right there. Bless the hands that fix. You pray over. Do you ever pray over the food? Do you say that when you pray? Bless the hands that fix it. I don't know what's yeah. that. You make sure the food I eat is good and healthy. And healthy. 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 Yeah, and make sure nobody try to poison me. That's right, cause you got a lot of low down people out there. So uh, after they did that, you know, Clint asked them a question about what they need from their spouse before decision day. Yada, blah, yada, blah, yada, blah, yada, blah, 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 blah. Yada, 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 It really, it, and I don't say that to be facetious on me. It really is nothing to, uh, for me to regurgitate, like nothing. It's a blanket, rehearsed, dumb things because how in the world, Jenny going to tell me, um, I just want more of, what she said something like more of open communication but you do that why are you saying it y'all yeah. ain't even got no connection you I, said you do not feel like a wife right I, and stuff i really think this season i don't know i don't know if they have a new production team but everything seems so rehearsed this season it, do. it really does uh at least it's season when chris and page was on there 
None of that was rehearsed. <laughs> so, so yeah, I don't know what production. Even with Chris and uh, I was, yeah, they was on there. <laughs> that don't seem rehearsed, man. Cause yeah. actually, they went a step farther farther with them because they had like hidden cameras. You know what I'm saying? So this right here, I don't know. Maybe it's a new production it's team. <laughs> yes. So, so yeah, yeah it, it's just really rehearsed. It's very dry. And I to be honest, I looked at the the ratings. Like, um, Mary the First Sight get almost like a million views, and I'm that was from last week. And if people didn't watch last week, you can only imagine what it is when people do watch. But they got almost like like eight hundred and some thousand views. You know, viewers that watch it. I would have to say this season. Uh, it, it it has been kind of lackluster, and it, it yeah you know, I know people oh we like to see love and good marriages I agree I'm totally on board with that I am, but you still have to have that drama in there to keep you you know invested. Yeah, because reality TV is just like soap operas right. and stuff like that. People don't watch because it's so wholesome and it's so, you know what I'm saying, most of them. But they watch because they want to see because I'm kind of spark or something. But it's not even just that. Like, these couples just don't mesh well. And like we were saying, it's rehearsed answers and questions. Like I said, that girl keep looking at the cameras. You yeah, know what I'm saying? I just think they have a new production team this year. Maybe the production team they used to have on that went to the other show. Um, love is blind, yeah. but they ain't feeding them. That's what the people say, honey. Yeah, they ain't so. feeding them, honey. They working 12 hours, child. They on the brink. They got anxiety, depression, everything. But it's the same people like Keenan. I think pronounce it Keenan Connect or something right. like that. So, so, yeah. I don't know, man, but you're right. It's like this season just it, it missed the mark so far, you know. So. Um, Another thing, too, on the after party, um, Keisha, they had showed a clip where, um, um, what's his name? Clint was cooking and stuff because she had said, well, you know, she said she don't feel like a wife. And Clint said, well, I don't feel like a husband, you know, with her or whatever. But anyway, um, Ares was like, well, you know, I see Clint like doing husband duty, so to speak. Like he even cooking for the girl. Sometimes she go and he'll say, hey, we having this for dinner. And she'll pick up, you know, take out and bring it home, you know. Um, but they had showed him when he was cooking um, some salmon or something, and he was putting some, like, what he said, water and oil or some salt and oil. Keisha said, you ain't got no season. You from the South. You ain't got no season and nothing like that. And, you know, laughing at that. And so she said, here goes some of my season. And so I'm giving you, I'm setting this up for a backstory. So when I had my first singles mixer, um, Keisha, you know, before, of course, she was on the show or anything like that. And I think she had shortly had been divorce or had her child i don't know if she was married to the guy but um i think she was she had shortly had her child and she had her seasoning at this event that we went to she had her seasoning and i was able i purchased it took a picture with keisha yes i did and um and her seasoning and she was holding up the bag that i was giving away at my first singles mixer so i can't remember who won there stuff like that honey it was a big old big season like that so i did purchase it keisha and i gave it to the people at my singles mixer so somebody won that gift so yeah i thought that was pretty cool that she still got it so i don't know if she's still you know selling it but yeah i thought that was cool so that's my story so on that note that's all we got y'all like we said before don't forget that we have a big announcement that we want to share once we reach twenty thousand subscribers so that means i need for you to work hard to tell your sister your brother your auntie your uncles your niece your nephews everybody to subscribe so that we can go ahead and share this announcement because y'all don't want to miss this i'm telling you you don't want to miss it it's gonna be really really good it's gonna be really really good yeah, we do need to hit that 20,000 mark, okay? I don't know. I really don't know what's taking so long. <coughs> it's not us. It's you. So, uh, yeah, get your friends, your family member, Pookie, Nunu, and all them to subscribe to the channel. Yep. Uh, so we can hit this 20,000 so we can tell y'all what we got. In the, in the plans. Now, uh, if you're a patron, you already know. Yeah. <clears throat> and some of y'all excited about that. But if you're not a patron, then, yeah, you just have to wait. Yeah, so it's not just for us. It's for it's, you. It's definitely not just for yeah. It's definitely not for us. It's for y'all, man. So yeah. don't be holding up y'all blessings, man. 
Titties. So yeah, and, and and make and make sure that you are still subscribed. Some of y'all say I was subscribed, but then they unsubscribed me and stuff. Just make sure that you still subscribe. And so <clears throat> make sure you like this video, push it up in the algorithm. And, and, and <clears throat> matter of fact, well, if we hit twenty thousand or when we hit twenty thousand, I got I'm gonna throw a bonus in there for you guys. I'm gonna do a dance video for y'all, just for y'all. Twenty thousand. I'll make a whole dance video of me doing my latest dances of the of the past. Do you want the people to subscribe or not? Huh? So you trying to run them off? I ain't trying to run them off. They well, want to see me they, dance. They do. Yeah, I know they want. They want to see me dance. Regardless to the point, please just subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> we will see you guys on the next video. Don't forget to go with God and let God go with you. I was put God first. Who says? Hey. I was